is showing LA some real love. And while I admittedly don't know much about sports ball, it's known, um, you can't live in Los Angeles and not embrace the Lakers. Um, they're part of what makes the heart of this city beat. I think everybody can agree on that. My next, my next guest actually is the owner of the team. Last year, she became the first female controlling owner to lead an NBA team to a championship. <laughs> Kristen. Hi. Hey, and the queen pin and looks fantastic. <laughs> you're a badass. I just want to lead with that. I'm very excited to have you here. But the Lakers are, you know, part of the glue that holds the city together. Why do you think that is? Well, you know, when my dad bought the team back in 1979, um, it was really important to him to give Los Angeles something that we could all rally together. And um, what he did was he built a team that Los Angeles could you know, be proud of under a purple and gold flag. And it was important for him to, for everybody to feel included to be Laker fans. Yeah. And where else but at a Laker game could you see a Hollywood legend like Jack Nicholson sitting there with it. regular fans <laughs> yeah. enjoying the game. Yeah, um, but let's talk about your role as a female owner. That is so cool. I'm so proud of you and I don't even know you, but I do now. Yeah. But I, I think it's so cool. The, the, the first thing that I thought was like, who's gonna be the next female to do something like this? Yeah. You know, because I know what it meant to me to, to see women in powerful positions, that that inspired me. Yeah. And you know, as, as a matter of fact, it's, it's important that not only we see women leading, but that women can lead men. And so the yeah. fact that the Lakers is a men's team was yeah. really important. That's, that's so true. So, well, we, we can't talk about the Lakers without mentioning Kobe Bryant, who's here. I love him. I fell in love with him, even in person. Um, and, you know, that was one of those huge things. And it, you know, even if you didn't know him personally, it really did hit. I remember being in my house and we finding out on the news, like, it hit everyone. And that's how powerful I do think that sports and those figures can be for kids or adults and that excitement and that place and time. And I don't know how. And he really supported you, um, I heard. So how that, that must have been really hard to come back from as a, as a team. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, I mean, we all lost somebody that was really special. Yeah. Uh, it's left a, a, a void in my life and a void for all Laker fans. And, um, you know, I remember when um, my dad passed in 2013, Kobe reached out to me and invited me to have lunch with him in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And um, he brought his daughter Gianna along with him. Mm -hmm. And he said, I hope you don't mind, I brought Gianna with me because I wanted him to see a woman in a position of power wow. and get to and hear what you had to say yeah. and I know what he was doing was really motivating me mm. because um, you know there's all these little girls that are looking up to a person like me in my position and you know it, that's the kind of thing that Kobe did would would motivate he knew how to motivate people and to remind me of how important what I'm doing is. And, and through that, we can honor Kobe's memory and that's how we keep his legacy alive. 100%. It was interesting for people like me, like I met him on this show, he came on and it was so funny because I don't know a lot about sports, but I all we did was talk about his daughters and we talked about his wife and we talked about family stuff and he's a writer and we, we just talked about something completely different so I knew him differently um, than most. But you can tell he's just so charismatic and, and had so much pride in his girls and, and it was just really cool how um, he was pushing you know all the right people in the right places. I felt, I felt like that was really cool. It was true of his character, I think. Exactly, yeah. and I saw that episode and I say to all Kobe fans and Kelly fans to watch that episode because you guys really had a nice connection and and um, well he told me I married a Taurus and I was like good luck <laughs> I was like your wife's a Taurus oh man that's a fun house <laughs> I, was like, I was like but it was it was just really fun to get to know him because I would not have really have known uh, known him other than this show and to find out how much he really pushed you because most people would look at a female owner of a team and go oh she owns a women's basketball team right, you know right most people would think that, and unfortunately, and, and well, as a matter of fact, when the WNBA was founded back in '97, 
um, the commissioner went to my dad and said, well, I assume Jeannie's gonna run the team. And my dad said to him, no, Jeannie's gonna run the Lakers someday. So, I love your dad. That's so awesome. That's so awesome and so supportive and so cool. What a great dad.